the year, we talked about the new Madonna, the new look, the new album, the new attitude. Madonna tossed out the lace, the rosaries, and all the rubber jewelry and remade herself in an image of classic Hollywood glamour. Now she like, thinks she's Marilyn Monroe or something. She's wearing less makeup, and she is a very, very pretty woman. Why do I think she changed for money? Why else? Fittingly, Madonna revealed her new look at the Hollywood premiere of husband Sean Penn's movie at close range. The film was a flop at the box office, but it gave Madonna her first 86 hit, Live to Tell. If I live to tell. One of three top ten singles off True Blue, Madonna's triple platinum third album. With Papa Don't Preach, her number one song about teenage pregnancy, Madonna touched nerves as only she can, and the media jumped all over it. It celebrates life. It celebrates a teenager making um, a difficult decision. If you want to have a baby or you get pregnant, you have to think of all the, the expense. Uh, love is... Love is not everything. Madonna's always been really good, I think, for women's rights. I think she's always said that we can do whatever we want to do. And if we want to go out and have a child, well, let's have our parents' blessing. The song inspired parodies, answer records, and even a lawsuit. Meanwhile, Madonna's movie career suffered a broken step with Shanghai Surprise. Filming was punctuated with reports of Sean punching out photographers and the couple battling it out with each other. Once it was released, it did bad business and got even worse reviews. Wait. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. And so are her fans. But that didn't stop the material woman. In September, she was honored at MTV's Video Music Awards. I don't know where I am. Is it New York? And she stayed in New York to make another movie, a comedy called Slammer. Trend of the year. Ah, it's got to be that day they played all those Madonna videos. Go ahead. Make my video. I dare you. Come on. When MTV and Madonna asked you to make her True Blue video, you knew it would be a contest like you'd never seen before. You know, baby, I love you. The winners from nearly a thousand contestants were Cliff Guest and Angel Gracia. Madonna paid a royal visit to our studio and gave them a check and a proposition. Do you think you could make my next video for under a thousand dollars? I mean, because if you can, we have some things to talk about. But Cliff and Angel didn't make Madonna's next video. Jean-Baptiste Mondino did. And they didn't take those in-the-nude pictures that Penthouse planned to publish as the year ended. controversy this year for Madonna, she got involved in a couple of high-profile charities by modeling at an AIDS fashion benefit and appearing on one stop of the Amnesty International tour. We are all free citizens! And it is our responsibility to share that freedom with the rest of the world! On stage, screen, and stereo, Madonna proved it time and again in 86. She's the biggest star we've got, and her fans love her for it. I love you too.